Art Nail Stan with a chair, and they're all three jumping on him. Stan Lane, one of the premier single wrestlers of the first family, being abused and beaten by the Cuban and the Iranian assassin. Here comes promoter Eddie Marlin, Robert Gibson, and Rick Gibson. they go I am stunned as to what in the world is happening Stan can I talk to you just a second Let me tell you something, Get your yeah, what in the world is this you came out and jumped Jimmy Hart I'm not the kind of guy let me just tell you this I'm not the kind of guy that, that goes to people's things. I mind my own business. But what I've been suspecting for a long time, I had a chance to find out last night. I did go in Jimmy Hart's bag. This is a ledger, what Lance. Is... You know what that is. Yeah. An accounting ledger. What it boils down to is Jimmy Hart has been stealing money, not only from me, but from the whole first family. And I stood out here for months. I don't mind the guy standing here and talking. He wouldn't let me talk. That's fine. I don't mind the guy telling me to stay in before championship matches. That's okay, too. But nobody takes my money. Nobody. Let me say one thing. Let me explain something to you. Well, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> I signed a contract when I came here. Jimmy Hart gets a 10% booking fee, 10% for his managerial duties. That's it. It's all here You're in black and white, brother. You're making pretty strong let me, let me show you. No, man. it's right here in black and white, Lance. This makes me Look at this. 10%, all right? This is this month, January. Okay, Stan That's Lane. my name. Look at here. Look at the figures. 30%, huh? 20%. 15%. The guy's been ripping me off. The whole family. Let me tell you something. I might be the only guy in the family that graduated from college. Fine. It doesn't take a five-minute cap in the county to understand what's going on here. The guy's been stealing from me, the whole first family. I'm going to get my money back, brother. Here's Nobody takes my money. Nobody! Here's one figure that looks like 40% right here 40%. on Stan Lane. Wait a minute, man. Look at the book, sweetheart. Uh, Stan Lane. Now, I want you to understand that it was Stan Lane making those accusations. Uh, I did see the figures. I didn't uh, really get a too good a look. There's Brown Sugar and Dream Machine. And this is, uh, this is Hart's personal book. Well, his ledger. Wait just a minute, man. Wait a minute. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. You supposed to give him ten. Twenty percent. See, Dream man. Machine and Sweet uh, Brown Sugar taking a look. There's Sweet Brown Sugar's page right there in the ledger. And the indication is, percentage-wise, this column is percent. Uh, now, again, we are taking the information as given by Stan Lane. The percentage column right here indicates 30%. Brown sugar, 20%. And some very serious charges made uh, of Jimmy Hart. What's going on? Jimmy, uh, let me ask you first. Is this, is this your ledger here? Stan Lane says this is your ledger, and I want to give you the opportunity to say whether it is or not. brown sugar, 30%. I know it looks bad, but let me tell you something. Let me just tell you all the truth. I'm going to tell you the honest to goodness truth. First of all, I've never been so humiliated in my life. I don't look. Well, hey, man, hey. hey you people hey, are cruel. Get down to the point. I'm going to try to get down. Down. Get down. If you just listen to me for a minute, give me a chance, man. Who broke into the business? Jimmy Art. Who changed your name to Sweet Brown Sugar? Jimmy Art. You were, you were driving up there on a Greyhound bus over here before I found you. You were driving Lawler's car. Well, I'll tell you exactly. Look First, at, Jimmy, at, let me ask you, is that your ledger or not? That is definitely my oh, ledger. Okay. That's uh, all let I me, want to know. Me, you want me to explain? Let me give you a chance to explain if y'all would give it to me. And I just want to tell you right now, I know it looks bad, boys, but this is it. <laughs> How many times when y'all came to me for a contract, y'all told me that you weren't able to manage your money, didn't you? Tell me, didn't you? You did, didn't you, Dream? Didn't you, Sugar? Okay, well, that's what I've been doing for you. You trusted me, and I gave you a chance of a lifetime. See, these people are so cruel like this. See, that's, tr 
But I'm, all right, I'll be truthful with you. Yeah, you want to know? Okay, okay. I'm interested. I'm going to tell you get why. To point, I'm going to get to the point. I've been putting your money back in a savings account for you. And I, and I was going to give, I was going to give you the money for Christmas. But I've been so busy trying to negotiate other contracts for you and commercials and stuff that I wasn't able to do it. So this week, I'm going to give it to you, and I've got $5,000 for you save sugar, and I've saved over $7,000 for you, Dream Machine. $5,000 for $5,000 for you I've saved for you, and I've got over seven for you, and that's what I've been doing with your money. Now, you see, you come out here. I'm going to show you right here in this book exactly where I've got it, right back in the back. It says where? right now. It's in my other book I've got. I put it in my other book that I've got, but I'll bring it to you. But let me tell you something. You've got $7,000 saved, and I've got $5,000 for you. And I had some money for Stan Lane, too. But let me tell you, Stan Lane, you come out here accusing me in my hometown, a Christian athlete, Jimmy Hart, an American citizen, Jimmy Hart, a credit to my community, and you come out here telling me that. That's right, man. Let me tell you something. Wait a minute. I tell you what, gentlemen, I would take a look at that other ledger. Oh, and take a look listen at you, Russell. Let me tell you too. something, Stan Lane. I had $5,000 from you, too, but you'll never get it. I'll tell you what I'll do. You want to make some money, and I'll tell you how. I'll put a bounty on Stan Lane's head for anybody can break his arm or leg or anything accusing me of this. Right, like, you nobody, talk to Lane, me that way. Are you going to stand by me, Sugar? You mean I got $5,000? You've got $5,000, man. Okay. okay? Nobody, baby. Okay. Nobody accuses Jimmy Hardy, so nobody changed you, man. Nobody changed you. I'm okay. To stand away, you pay because I am the family. I'm the greatest thing to ever happen in wrestling. I'll work for you as long as you be honest to me. And I've always been honest to you, Sugar. I've always okay, been honest to you. Okay, you guys take a look at the book. Don't forget it's in black and white right down there. We're going to take time out. We'll be back in just a moment.